Oh boy, well, here we are, tier 10, and we are not fooling around. We are heading to probably the hardest stage of tier 10 and what it has to offer, which is pretty unforgiving. I don't know if I want to say unforgiving, but uh, pretty tough enemy and um, obstacle challenge, I should say. Also, thank you Totem for deciding that you don't want to actually jump like you do the other times. I just should never question what enemies from Mega Man 4 ever do ever again, because it just hurts your brain even thinking about it. Yeah, th this stage is, um, any stand and rock by uh, Mr. Stove Guy, for those not in the know, and, um, I have mentioned before this is probably my least favorite stage as far as the tier 10s. However, I can't really say the stage is bad by any means. I mean, it does look pretty good, but I think the problem that I still have with the stage is that the timing, the enemy placement, the enemy behavior, and some design choices that actually look like they're pretty good weren't completely completed, I should say. And one of them was, as you saw, that uh, spike block. Um, was it maybe Mega Man 4 blocks that they alternated spikes? I think it was. Where they can't where you pretty much have to do a lot of waiting, and it's not exactly great. There's some secrets in this stage, but one of them looks like you can progress forward, but it's actually a death pit. And then there's this uh, upward section, which doesn't make the most sense in the world, I would say. Because um, the up and downs really shouldn't be going through platforms, even though, I mean, well... I should cut some slack because, for one, we can shoot through walls, well, until Mega Man X6, but I'll get on that topic whenever I play uh, the X Games again, kind of like as a little remembrance sort of thing. Now, this section right here, I mean, the other sections were kind of at least decently easy if you take your time, but this one is particularly difficult because you have to go backwards. You have to watch out for hopping enemies, um, the Feral Man Scorpions, which will pop out and try to snipe you. Not sure why those platforms were uh, allowed to remain while the other stuff disappeared. I don't know if it was an oversight, but um, right here, yeah, I had two different close calls as far as those Scorpions, because they really tried to spawn camp me right there. Also, be careful that you don't take the Ride Chaser in because, well, you soft lock. Well, not even soft lock, but you kind of end your run because you can't do anything. It's absolutely hilarious. But, um, uh, Centipede Tower, or I don't even know the name of it, is, um, the final challenge of this stage, and it's a pretty, um, random one. Kill him as quickly as you can, pray that you don't get cornered like this. The only exception is if he decides to use the um, octopus missiles, because if he does, you might be able to despawn him off screen because of how close he is. Otherwise, you might be screwed because, um, for whatever reason, they take two hits to destroy a missile, even though they're really tiny in comparison to what you are. I don't really get it, but to this date, I still have the perfect run, and I'm kind of glad I don't have to do it again. Next time, a change of pace.